Pickleball fans, listen up. The popular sport is returning to Center City. Starting today, you can reserve your playtime at Dilworth Park, and that's where we find our Howard Monroe to tell us more about it. Hey, Howard. Hey, good morning to you, Jim. Yes, pickleball, it is back here in the city of Philadelphia, outside of City Hall from now through mid-October uh, here. Come on out here, reserve a court, or come out here and play individually. We're joined now by the co-founder of City Pickle, Mary Cannon. Good morning to you. Hi, Howard. Good morning. So this is the second year you guys are bringing uh, City Pickle here to the city, correct? Exactly right. What is it like being able to spread your love for this game with everyone else here in the city? It's a great feeling. Um, I love pickleball. I love the fact that I can play with my entire family, my children, my mother. Um, and it's a real honor to be in Philadelphia, uh, which is, I'm a Philly girl. I'm from Montgomery County. Um, so it feels really nice to be here in front of City Hall. You and your business partner, Erica, she went to Penn, yeah, correct? Yeah, so we right. have Philly roots. Yeah. So you, we were talking earlier about uh, pickleball. Where did the name come from? Because while it's, you know, happening now is sort of exploding now. Yeah. It's been around for a long time. As we let them, uh, let folks watch them play. Sure. So Pickleball was founded in 1965 um, on Bainbridge Island off of Seattle. And it was founded by a bunch of dads who had their kids with them in an after on an afternoon and sort of looked around the yard and found a wiffle ball. They went to the badminton court. They lowered the badminton net. And like a pickle boat, where you find sort of whatever you have around, um, they created pickleball and that's where it gets its name. There we go. All right. So and as we let's go out here, let's play a little bit uh, with them. The one rule that I learned from Erica was that you could basically be wherever you want, but not in the so-called kitchen. Correct? Not in the kitchen. That's exactly right. All right. So what are uh, some of the rules? It's sort of like tennis, but not really, right? Sort of like tennis. Um, if you're a tennis player, you will pick up pickleball instantaneously. But even for those who haven't played a racket sport before, um, it's so accessible. Mm -hmm. I have to say, though, there are there's professional pickleball. <laughs> um, and when you watch those athletes play, you realize that the game has many different levels. You know, so I got to ask you because we did have break dancing in the Olympics. Are you hoping pickleball will make it to the Olympics one day? It will definitely make it to the Olympics one day. You know, it's spreading. It's the most popular. Um, it's the fastest growing sport in the United States, uh -huh. but it's also growing internationally. It's becoming very popular in India, in the United Kingdom. Um, so I think it'll be in the Olympics very soon. All right, Mary, thank you very much. So, Thanks, Jim, Howard. as she mentioned, she does play with her 74-year-old mother. Um, not saying, I know you're not 74, but anyone can play this game. Rumor is you were supposed to be out here at 9 o'clock. I heard you backed out. Yeah, you know, because there are injuries. Emergency room visits are up for people of my age, Howard. <laughs> and I have bad eye-hand coordination. But maybe I'll give it a try. Okay, well, maybe. Okay, yeah, come on out here. You can come out here through mid-October and, and have some fun. Thanks, Howard. Appreciate it.